So the news broke uh, about the fact that five female pupils of Oreo Senior Grammar School in Bobo Ikorodu area of the state, Lagos State, actually were found in a video smoking shisha while in their school uniform. And uh, the students have since been suspended. And the government, through the Office of the Special Advisor on Education, uh, Mr. Tokumba Wahab, confirmed the development and said that these girls will be sent on rehabilitation. So many of us saw that video, which went viral, five girls. I mean, they had the perfect profile. Cut the hair, you know, your school uniform, mm. their socks were there. You know, they look like they're going to school. Looking perfect, like the average Nigerian young girl. Unfortunately, these girls were found um, smoking shisha. Which shisha, for those of you that don't know, is tobacco in the bowl. So yeah. it goes through uh, some kind of a pipe. Yeah. And, they, and these kids use it and smoke it to get high. Um, I just thought they were no Nigerians. Like yeah, initially first, we thought, I was like, it's always no, good to say, oh, it's over there. Yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not, this this can be happening, like, like here. Yeah. Then, I don't feel like it was even in Lagos. <laughs> like, it was, it was double. You could do here. You, right could, here. Just, you, <laughs> you know, and it just shows the level of decadence and the level of breakdown of moral standard in our society. Mm. We, the, what, what we feel we are doing to each other is affecting the next generation already. This, this is really sad. Um, I'm happy they've been suspended because we really need to have such firm actions and deterrence against such actions taking place further. But beyond that, we need to talk to the, the, the teachers. Did they, they notice anything? Um, we've heard videos, we've seen other videos where children come to school with mobile phones that are really, really expensive and they insult teachers. How are we incentivizing the system mm. to mm. deal with these issues, um, these issues right. before it escalates to this point. I just want to use this opportunity to let um, um, younger ones just understand that um, because the way they sell shisha is, is, is told and sold in such a way to say it's in, it is less um, dangerous to your health than cigarettes. So you're like, well, it's not like I'm doing cigarettes anyway. It's, it's not as bad or toxic to my system as cigarettes are. But they are just as bad. In fact, there are some studies that have shown that they are even four times worse than smoking cigarettes because the way it is being inhaled, you take the toxins that, you know, directly in. And secondly, it also causes um, gradual loss to your eyesight. So before you get anywhere, you start losing your eyesight, you know. So there are effects on your body from smoking things like that. And it does not make you cool. It's not a conversation we can even finish today. We might have mm. to bring another day, another expert who's going to focus on drug abuse, um, the, uh, on how we can, parents can manage it. Hmm. Because the truth is, it is there. It exists. Young people are taking this drug, whether we want to believe it or not. They would only, many of us wouldn't try to experiment growing up, but we had enough uh, will to say no. And the fear of your mother. And the fear. <laughs> so how do we instill that fear? What, do we, what kind of conversations do we have with young people to stop them from One engaging in this? One of the conversations this? my mom had with us was she took us to the front of the TV and then she showed us people who had taken drugs, mm. how their lives ended up, what happened to them, how they ended up in hospital. So that discourages you when you see the results mm. of so as a I child of when you as a child see the results of people who take drugs, you will caution yourself because peer pressure is there is peer pressure. It's so real. You are, now it's you, the parent, fighting peer pressure. So you have to now expose your child mm. to the effects mm -hmm. of drug abuse. Right. Don't. Lord, it over. But, ah, can you, if you take drugs, I will kill you. I will... Oh, wow. Don't. Why can't? In a nice way, talk to your child. Talk to your child so that the thing will enter. Mm. Bring out pictures. Bring out videos. Show them the effects of drug abuse. abuse. I tell you, nine times out of ten, it will work.